Well, XM Studios is a luxury collectibles uh, producer, right? We produce uh, IP assets for the biggest pop culture brand in the world. Company like Disney, Warner Brothers, Hasbro. So over the years, collectors and partners have been telling us that what we produce and what we paint are so beautiful. We should look into licensing, right? Getting licensed and produce them into collectibles. A lot of collectors always come to me, Ben, all your statues are sold out, right? There's nothing for us to buy. So now I'm sharing with them, right? Why you buy one when you can invest in XM? When you invest in us, you own everything. Three of us, we have been very close since young. I think our parents have taught us well of brotherhood, right? The, we have to always stand together. And we have been working for the past 20 over years. So basically, we know each other very, very well. And I can leave the work to my brothers. Definitely, they can do the best out of it. XM Studio itself is stories. You need to talk back before XM Studios. That is where we come from. So how all this started? It started in 1995, I would say, when uh, we were operating a small comic store in Chinatown. So by coincidence, we get into painting of models. And through that process, uh, me and Singh, we feel that hey, it's something quite fun. We feel that this is something that we can do, apart from selling comics. And uh, we were visited by a friend one day, uh, asking if we want to take over a hobby store in Bras Brasa. We decided to take up the challenge. So what happened is that Singh at the time was still in Polytechnic. So he uses his school fees to pay for the thousand dollars. The family don't know until one day the school called up. Hey, your son didn't pay school fee. You know, and that's where the hell broke loose, right? Me and Singh, we are just a very junior painter. We don't have any art background. We spend 14 to 18 hours a day just to practice and paint and practice and paint. So the store become my second home. I started this core modeling hobby, picking up paintings, modelings. I pick up all the necessary things that help me to produce the statues at the times. Six, seven years ago, we found that we are getting old enough. Yeah, we can't do much physical things anymore. And there was, after one project that we came back from Vivo City, uh, we were sitting down, I was asking Singh, Singh, I said, what are we going to do 10 years later when we are old and we cannot climb the scaffolding? Which led me to rethink into my business of what can I do with the skill that we have. and we set up a company called XM Studios in 2012. So it took us almost two years knocking on the doors of mainly the, all the big brands to get license. And we fin finally signed up our first license with Disney in 2013. And we produced our first statues from there. The first license I got from Disney was the Marvel series. So we got a license to create the raisin statues from 1.7 all the way to 1.2 skill. But we started with one quarter skill because that's the mainstream size for majority of the collectors. After our Marvel license, uh, we were approached by Warner Brothers again. And they said, hey, you produce great collectibles. Can we work with you? So we embarked on this very tedious process of creating a whole new line of the Batman Samurai line, which is uh, very Japanese-oriented. Uh, it took us almost two years to come out with our very first design. So this is the most creative Batman line in the market now. We are actually on our discussion with Wonder Brothers to create the second line together with them. So I hope that in the new future, we can show you the new Batman line. When we do a statue, it's not for us to collect and put in our house. 
is for the collector to collect. So we are doing things for collectors. The statue is going to be there for many years in your house, you will, you will collect. You will feel boring after a few months just looking at the thing without move. So what interesting about XM statue is, after a few months you feel boring of that pose. You can actually change the hand, the head, or even the lower torso, upper torso, to give, to, to give you a, a different uh, mood when you look at the statues. So we pay a lot of attention to all the details also. Okay, that's why our paint job with XM is quite unique. We spend a lot of effort into our production and QC process. For XM, we go through the hassle of doing three to four QC checks. We have our own QC facilities located in China where we hired our own XM staff. So every staff that we hired have at least 10 years of experience in, in arts and statues and, and, and production. So they are being deployed to all the factories that are partnering with us. So either, even when during the casting process, we already start our QC process and then assembly to boxing, packaging. So that is at the factory level. When it's completed, all the product will be shipped to our QC facility in China where we will open up one by one. Every piece has to be QC and checked before we pack them and ship out. So we spend a lot of money in this process, but I feel that it's worth it because every time a collector receives our statue, they do not have so much issues of broken parts. And so far we have a very low defection rate in the market. We were quite honoured that our first design, which is Captain America, won the Statue of the Year. I think the most prestigious we got is the Golden Mickey Award that we got from Disney in 2016. Our Iron Man Mark VII uh, was the winner for that year and uh, that really showed us that the product that we produce is really good and the licensor, you know, they appreciate it. So that time I was discussing with Singh, we need to have a statement piece a piece that people will talk about in the statue industry. We call it the so-called the grill. It only took us five minutes to design Magneto. So I said, why don't we do switch out? And then we decided to, to do a portrait where he was holding the Cerebro, because Cerebro belonged to Professor X. And Magneto and Professor X are good friends, but always fight against each other. So that portrait, when we created, was so fantastic that you actually tell your story of he may be asking himself, am I right to fight with my good friends? It didn't surprise me that when we launched a pre-order, the whole 800 pieces was sold out within a day. To me, being the Assistant Creative Director of XM, I personally feel that every piece is a grail because each and every design that we have, you know, in terms of the concept, we, we spend time, effort, um, and every piece tells a different story. So it's a grail to each individual um, when they buy it. When we started XM Studios, our direction was to bring beautiful collectibles to the industry, right? Now, I'm bringing pop culture into collector lifestyle. Things they eat, things they see, things they wear, things they collect, can all be IP related, right? and we are helping all the IP owners to create pop culture assets. Right, we are really very strong in the Southeast Asia and um, we are building our first concept store in Singapore. Right? And this concept store will be a to-go place for all the collectors and fans because we feature all the different licenses products inside one store. In XM, the milestone would definitely be the, the growth of the company. How it started off with um, us being a very lean um, local company to who we are now. Um, you know, some even you know, call us the big three in the collectibles industry. Additional milestone, I guess, worth mentioning would definitely be the amount of IPs that we have acquired recently, in the recent years. So the very first XM statue that I unboxed was Spider-Gwen and I really didn't have any idea what to expect at that time. 
opening up that box, the thick protective black cardboard box, the Velcro straps and taking the top off and then all of the pieces individually wrapped um, and unwrapping all of those and just kind of revealing each piece at a time was remarkable. I'll always remember unboxing that first statue. At the moment I have more than 30 pieces of XM Studios uh, statues. The Spider-Man is the first piece that I ever ordered. I remember when they were working on this piece, one of the issues they were having uh, with any switch out portraits, you can often see the seam line on the neck. But they made the decision because they wanted to be able to have a, you know, a, a perfect seamless piece, they made the decision to instead of offering three portraits, to offer three uh, torsos. You know, one of the other things that sets XM apart from some of the other companies is their interaction with the collecting community uh, through social media. And, you know, XM is a, is a family-owned uh, uh, company here in Singapore, and they really treat all of the collectors like family. And so you can reach out to them at any time through social media and get feedback, um, get a response from them. They seek collector feedback uh, within the community, which I've never seen any other company do. I think that's really one of the things that sets XM apart from, from other companies, is they're collectors themselves, and they care about collecting, and they care about the collecting community, and they're always trying to engage with people. My collectors always tell me, Ben, you, when I see a collector bus, you bring me back to the time when I come across these characters, right? That sparked me that we, we are actually bringing a piece of memory to the collectors. To me, is is a very strong influence that I should continue on my path, you know, on this to bring joy, you know, and fun to all my collectors. I am an XM collector. I'm Jem Mint, and I am an XM Studios collector. I am an XM collector. What's your XM show some draw? I'm an XM collector. I have two of my favorite XM statues next to me. All by XM, of course, my favorite company. I am an XM collector. If you want the best, it's gotta be XM. I am an XM, XM, XM collector. collector. I am an XM collector. I'm an XM collector. I'm an XM collector.